Hello YouTube, Jarve Bricks here. So today's going to be a little bit of an update of what I've been doing because I've um, had lots of little projects on the go at the same time. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I've done recently since the last update. Um, and then I'm gonna go into what the future of my city is going to be like. Some of the um, ideas that I'd like to implement some of the ideas that I was going to do have now changed because first I want to see those road plates um, in my city to see uh, how much difference that will make space-wise. Um, so um, I'll show you what I was going to do and then um, what possibly I might do depending on uh, how those road plates fare. So uh, I'm going to climb into the middle of the city and start there. So give me a second. Okay, starting with this corner with the police station. Um, this will um, be going because you all heard the rumors that the next module set will be a police station set. And yes, I know I don't like to have Lego official modulars in my city. They've all got to be my own creation. I'm thinking that um, all of the elements and bits that you will get in that city will look pretty cool. So I will just build a brand new Lego police station in um, the modular style um, and then just make it my own so this will be going um, I'm thinking um, I've just trying it out here and I've just put a little bit of it that's all of the rock faces that I own um, just having a rock face coming around this section here not too high because of the roof uh, so probably not much higher than that um, and then um, square it off at the top and then have the beginnings of a mansion or building and then have an opening here in the rocks and put the back cave and the mansion on the top will be Wayne Manor as I said it can't go as high because of the roof so you know, from there you've probably got not quite double the height that's pretty much directly above there um, obviously at an angle you've only got what, a little bit wider than my four fingers um, so it'll be a little bit tight so I'll probably be a bit of a facade on this side and then peter off at an angle just to try and make it look like Wayne Tower, uh, Wayne um, Manor um, so yeah that's what's probably going to go in this corner this is a long off project um, there's other things I want to do first which pretty much is everything from this point onwards will be what I want to do first so let me just spin around so going up here um, temporarily there will be no changes going on over here I need to finish that that's my um, train station my second train station that I've made um, so uh, ran out of bits I've got a bricklink order on the way and then once I've uh, got those in I will finish that I don't like the idea of that um, pizza place the stoppers there for the train actually just touch the building and I don't know about you but I wouldn't like to be eating pizza in there and see a train coming towards you so uh, that will probably move change adapt in some way or another and then um, coming over here So I recently made my version of Sesame Street. Um, so yeah, this is uh, just one I put together. It's not detailed on the inside. I just wanted to fill this little hole here. I've, I made this roof quite a while ago, but I've not been able to put it in the city. It just didn't look right with anything. So I've finally been able to, um, to do that. And the way that is made is that's just sitting on the top at a 45 degree, uh, sorry, 90 degree uh, angle. And then this just sits on that and I've just got these this bar across to hold the weight. And all it is, is stacked up on plates with a little join there. And then overlapping tiles that just sits on there overhangs 
and then this little contraption here just sits on the top like so uh, those top ones I did run out of um, tiles um, so I had to use the bigger ones which don't look as good but it does the trick so yeah I really like the way that uh, turned out changing the brick to a tan instead of the, uh, the lighter beige color I think worked out well and I like the little opening with the uh, um, oh, what's his name uh, some of the grouch Oscar Oscar the grouch I can't remember um, in the front I think it looks quite nice and uh, the color contrast with the buildings next to it as well so yeah that was one of the uh, projects that I've recently done now going over here and by the way yes I've still not put any roads on and they're all over there all the people and the cars I did brush it all up and tidy it but over the weekend there was a bit of a gale and a little bit of dust has come out again so I need to redo it um, so this whole section here of six 32 by 32 base plates which is all those buildings there which is the back of the palace cinema it's all integrated into one I can pick them up but I can't move them around they have to stay where they are otherwise the because the cinema goes across three modulars at the back and then um, two at the front as well and um, so uh, it has to stay in that shape but I do want to completely destroy that side because I think it's rubbish I just don't, really don't like the building I love the cafe bit at the back although it's a pretty big cafe isn't it in comparison to some of the other shops so I might make it a little bit smaller make two shops out of it um, but I just don't like the section above the shop I just think it looks a bit too plain so that will be changing I just wanted to use um, those um, uh, what are they called nugget medium nugget um, brick profile bricks I uh, had loads of um, one by four and I wasn't getting a chance to use them so I just thought I'd try it but no I didn't like it so that will be changing as well the idea is that I want to move it and I want to put it here um, so that the palace cinema is facing this way and I was going to get rid of these road plates here and make a little bit of a, a market street along here or some kind of parade um, and have some little smaller buildings perhaps along here um, and those plans are on hold at the minute just because I want to see those roads because um, now it could be that it starts about here instead of where it is now um, using those new roads so what I think I'll do is this section of three 32 by 32 road plates I will use this section as the trial for the new road system and then when I would I will move that over here I'll be able to uh, have a good idea of what's what um, because if I'm able to bring this closer here then obviously it will create space on the other side and then when I have the if I use those new road plates on the other side then it will create hopefully more space for more buildings which will probably be somewhere in the middle here I don't know yet that's one thing that I'm trying to think too many chess moves ahead there so um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um, Chinatown still in the same location I love Chinatown I think it's great although it's getting dusty and it's getting really difficult to get in there and dust it uh, yeah really love um, Chinatown I'm not sure with this new road plate how that will work out because um, I think from right there'll be no corner plates in this new road system so um, we'll see what happens there I'm not thinking too far ahead with that so with that section coming over here which will mean that this section will be moving over there in what form I do not know this will probably go completely because that was my first if I can get around I can't see what I'm looking at now because of leaning over but that's uh, that was the first um, assembly square set I had um, but as you can see it just looks like a modified assembly square so I will be um, changing that completely as well um, when I do it um, now before I climb through one more thing is over on this side 
it's easiest to see this section from um, this side I think I've been playing with um, a new tower so it won't be staying like a bit of a rainbow colors I was just um, picking a color scheme which I think I will probably go for uh, the top one possibly the second from top one but I think the top one's gonna pip it I, I put a little thing on Instagram to see which one they prefer and the majority say the top one so that's probably what I'll go with and I want another tower um, and I want it to be a little bit taller probably about the height of the old Wayne Enterprises tower and just so it's higher than the other three of the new ones so uh, I've got lots of pieces on order to um, get that going I still haven't ordered enough to complete it though and then these next two towers the old Wayne Enterprises tower which was replaced by this tall one because Wayne Bruce Wayne can only have the tallest building in the city um, this and Stud Labs they were built they were one of my well, the Wayne Enterprise tower was my first skyscraper and the Stud Labs was my second and I think I've become a lot better and I think that's evident when you look at the two apartment blocks there I've become a little bit of a better builder when it comes to skyscrapers so um, I'm thinking about taking them down and rebuilding them in a better way for instance I don't like that you can just see all the backs there of Stud Labs and um, so yeah I think that that will be going and the spacing out is going to change as well so it's hard to keep them on because the base plates of those towers are around about 16 by 16 yet you don't want them touching each other for instance there I've got six studs between those two buildings um, the blue one and the green one and I think that's the perfect distance so if they're 16 by 16 with six studs in between it encroaches on the second base plate so you have to get the spacing right so uh, and you can't really move them about once they're in place so I need to sort that out um, but first I want to um, make a bit more work done on this new one um, because I think that needs to go somewhere in the middle it won't fit where it is at the moment but I'll try and see make it work okay so now coming round to the other side so back now next to the uh, Chinatown at the train station which can you guess what set that's from yes the Parisian restaurant so uh, I'm thinking about moving that and the reason is is all of the details in the station like I've even raided the uh, the back roof and I want to finish that off as well I, I don't like the, the flat roof I'm gonna make that a little better as well not modify it um, somewhat but anyway the, what I'm saying is um, I don't get to see any of that and I want to so I'm thinking about putting it back in my old location somewhere around where the hospital is and um, that way you can from this angle you can see the front and then um, I can see the back from the other area as well so that will be moving which um, will free up some more space over here so I might put the hospital over here and um, because that's quite a, a tall building as well um, and it has to go somewhere in the middle of the city because of the height I can't get it around the edge because it hits the roof so that possibly might come over here and you've got the pet shop there which you can notice the bits some of the bits are from some of them the green section at the front that's from the fishing village fishing oh, what was it called fishing hut I can't remember now and the um, corner garage as well and there's still a little bit of the elements from the bottom as you see at the bottom um, from the um, assembly square uh, so you can see a little bit of a hodgepodge of everything there and then this building here you can see what's come from that yep that is the uh, 1970s diner and then this is the uh, old train station which um, have I finished that I can't remember now I think I have so uh, that's the first stop and then um, as I said this will all be moved so like I was explaining before um, this is a 32 by 32 base plate but the front is on this 32 by 32 base plate I think I can't remember now um, or it might be on the back of that one 
but as you can see it goes off because of the size of it to other base plates so they have to all stay together in the current form so that will be moving and uh, so stud labs from this angle I think looks nice but I just don't like it from that other angle which I just showed you at so um, I will be making some changes to that I'll probably keep it in the red color because I think it's a nice contrast with the other buildings and then um, I'll keep you to this side the hospital let's say that will be moving so from I as I walk around here I'll be able to see inside the train station so that's the uh, idea of moving it here the museum well I want to make the museum I want to make remake the museum should I say um, don't know yet I'm gonna put the pause on that one I just don't know um, so with the um, train station you notice the I've got the red modified brick there now and the reason being is I'm gonna to have to take you back over here so please forgive me I should have done this before as the train comes in it's it doesn't always do it there you go it just got snagged there it's just hitting the, the build when I when I did the video of this it's literally skimming it let's hit it now so um, GJ bricks came up with the solution of using that modified brick which I've done here so that way you've got like two or three millimeters space for it so um, although I read out, ran out of those um, red modified bricks for the other station, so I will. I've got them on order. I just have to wait for them to arrive and then find time to do it. Um, so from this angle, this is one of my newest buildings. The um, this is the corner um, extreme sports shop and flower shop, all detailed on the insides on that one. So if you want to see it in more detail check out the video I'm going to stretch through my skyscrapers now so bear with me so I can show you the sports shop so as you can see that's um, just been slightly modified from the uh, ski resort set or whatever it is I can't remember now um, and just put a climbing wall on the outside So really pleased with the way that turned out and I'm glad I was able to use the teal brick from the bookshop, uh, Birch Books, the building next to the Birch Books, the house. So I was able to use them on that, which is nice because I wanted to get rid of them. Um, coming around here, I need to repair this because you can see the bridge is just broken there. I think the, the wood underneath just needs a bit of a support. So we'll have to clear all this out. Uh, incidentally, I, I am going to have to clear it all out because I've got some more sky, which is there. Um, and I just want to come across over there. But I need to move all the buildings out to do that. No changes along here. Oh, I did, um, that's one thing I did do. Um, I modified that little boat and made it four studs wide instead of like what it was nine I think I got eight I don't know <laughs> excuse me um, yeah so uh, just made it more um, what's it called to scale with the minifig or oh, with the other vehicles should I say so coming over here no changes here just a ton of cars uh, it will be interesting though those new um, uh, what are they called speed champions cars with that are now gone from uh, six studs to eight studs will they fit on the new road system I think it'll be very tight um, this was just a building I quickly made uh, live on uh, London Bridge live stream so if you want to look at London Bridge Bricks he, was, he has some great creators uh, that come on there um, so 
here we've just got the I've, I've just put it there for temporary it's not permanent um, as of that building I, I want to change that and make it fit a little bit more with the city I've just put it there for now um, but the next um, major change will be with this corner because I'm getting rid of the docks and I just think there's a lot of creative space there that I'm just not using yeah it is does look nice in the city and it is realistic in the sense that uh, most cities have some kind of dockyards like this um, but I want the stuff I want to do and I think this is the first bit that has to go I'm still gonna have a little bit of a docks um, but I'm just gonna get rid of this boat and I'm gonna have an underwater scene here so I want to have get the um, Explorer ship um, to do that and here I'm going to have two factories I want to have a cup making factory and I want to have a car making factory uh, so put one around about there and one in that corner there um, and it's going to be it's going to be biggish buildings up to the point it hits the roof that is so um, yeah I think that is uh, going to have to replace the docks which will leave me a ton of um, two by two dark bluish grey tiles but it's not a pro bad problem to have is it um, anyway I didn't I didn't tile up over there anyway so I can finish that with all those extra tiles um, and that I believe is that so just one quick pan over the city so um, yeah let us know what you think of my plans whether you think that um, it will work whether you think that there's going to be a problem with some of my ideas let me know and uh, I will try to implement those ideas into my city it's always good to get feedback for instance GJ Bricks gave me the idea about that station which has made it work a lot better let me show you how much better as I push this into and it rolls nicely all the way to the end so thanks GJ Bricks for that suggestion Anyway, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you next time when I have something to put on the city. Goodbye.